No. Then find the one who did the deed. If you loose an army of the night on Wallachia, you cannot undo it. And many thousands of people just as innocent as her will suffer and die. I won't let you do it. I grieve with you. But I won't let you commit genocide. Why are you here? And you? Are you in search of a mythical savior? Is that what you believe? No. And what am I? You call me Dracula. She called you Belmont. House of Belmont? The Belmonts fought creatures of the night, did they not? For generations. The Belmonts killed vampires. And now Dracula is carrying out an execution order on the human race. Do you care, Belmont? Do you think you can? I don't like your tone, Belmont. What is the year of your lord? Perhaps a year, then. My defenses were not for you. They are machines, nothing more. They were not intended to protect me from you. I asked you a question. Do you care? Do you think you can? If you're really a Belmont and not some runt running around with a family crest, you might be able to. Let's find out. You've got nothing but insults, have you? A tired little... And do you know what Dracula looks like? Please, this isn't a bar fight. Have some class. Do you have a god to put a last prayer to, Belmont? What? <clears throat> I can still rip your throat out, but you will still die. <laughs> I thought I was your legendary savior. You're a speaker magician. Good. Very good. A vampire hunter and a magician. You'll do. I am Adrian Depesh. Known to the Wallachians as Alucard. Son of Vlad. Dracula Tepesh. I've been asleep here in my private keep under Greshid for a year to heal the wounds dealt by my father when I attempted to stop him unleashing his demon armies. I'm aware of the story. I'm also aware that the speakers consider the story to be information from the future. Do you know the whole story? The sleeping soldier will be met by a hunter and a scholar. I need a hunter and a scholar. I need help to save Wallachia. Perhaps the world and defeat my father because it is what my mother would have wanted. And we are all, in the end, slaves to our family's wishes. My father has to die. We three, we can destroy him. Alucard, they called me. The opposite of you. Mother never liked that. Did you know that? She hated the idea that I might define myself by you. Even in opposition to you. She loved us both. Enough that she wanted us to be our own people. Living our own lives. Making our own choices. And so here I am. Choosing to honor my mother by killing my father. No longer Adrian Tepesh. Choosing to be Alucard of Wallachia. The name of my mother's people. I'm sorry, mother. And so we begin again. Have the speakers left? I'm sorry. In success, you will see them again soon in far happier circumstances. Dracula's castle moves. How to describe it? It travels without moving. It appears at locations as if... Well, as if by magic. I was under the impression it was destroyed. Villagers, pitchforks and torches, that sort of thing. The collected knowledge and material of generations of Belmonts who fought the creatures of the night. That sounds interesting. If it survives. You're guessing, though. Fortunate indeed, then, that I chose not to kill you and eat you, Belmont. Oh, please. We're not children. Yes, fuck you. Do you really believe we could find the tools to kill my father at your old home? I'm trusting you, Belmont. Don't make me regret it. I am half human. My mother's name was Lisa. And she was mortal. <laughs> 
she actually showed up at his front door. She found the castle and banged on the front door with the pommel of her knife. Oh, she was remarkable. She beat on the door until my father let her in, and then demanded he teach her how to be a doctor. God, you still think you're funny. My father is a man of science, a philosopher, a scholar, and knows things our society have forgotten three times over. Do you still not understand the enormity of what we're doing? He's gone mad. And from that, there is no recovering him. It's a tragedy. He's a repository of centuries of learning. He could have changed the world. I think he might have, if Mother hadn't died. She'd sent him out into the world. And that's why I wasn't there when the bishops took her. She sent him to travel, to learn the true state of the world, the true nature of humans, and how they live. Imagine if he could have aimed all that knowledge at improving lives. If the religious inquisition hadn't proved true all of his worst instincts about humans. All the world will still be here, Belmont. Trees will still grow. Birds will still sing. Animals will still hump away in the undergrowth. But you won't be here. And you won't be here. None of you. The sun will still set. But you will not see it rise. There will only be Dracula and his war council and the hordes of the night. He writes in great books, you know. He used the covers himself from oak and wraps them in the preserved skin of the people who he hated most. And he writes plans, I've seen them. Ideas for darkening clouds and making them as permanent in the air as the frost of the north. Great strange flying machines that pull shrouds across the sky to block out the sun. Imagine it. A world without humans, under endless invented night. And Dracula and his castle. His revenge so horribly complete that there is nothing left to do but look out over a world without art or memory or laughter and know that he did his work well. That he did it all for love. Animals humming in the undergrowth. Wait, no. No further. Nobody's going to our guest tonight. How old were you when your family home was taken? Twelve. I'm disturbed to find that I had more of a childhood than you did. Your hidden entrance looks like a hearthstone. Congratulations. You've just discovered a big piece of stone. That's odd. I don't seem to be able to get any purchase on it. Was that an Enochian ward? Well, well. Naughty Belmont's hunting all the terrible things of the forest, but sitting on a magic door opened by a cult language. But you know that the word Telok means of death, right? It's the magical door of death, Belmont. Moved or chased? I imagine one sacrifices a chicken and defines the location of the book you want from the intestines. Maybe Belmont has a crystal ball in here you could ask. Hunting Dracula. Charming. Well, it's like a museum dedicated to the extermination of my people, so no. Not thrilled. She doesn't have a house. She's a speaker, she's a nomad. Rhetorical house that she doesn't have, also known as distance mirrors. Some of them even allow matter to pass through them, but... No. No, this is a simple remote viewing mirror. A little of the activating language is chipped. A few of the runes need recutting, but workable. You have the most fascinating family junkyard, Belmont. You know, for coming from an oral memory-based culture, you're very good with books. Everything? Hmm. But how much of it is useful? You're certain it was one of his ancestors? You didn't find it under his childhood bed? I am concerned I have thrown my lot in with a demented infant. I am also concerned that you enjoy him too much. He is unreliable, emotionally damaged, and apparently very distracting to you while you should be focused on the task at hand. And he's a drunk, and he's self-destructive, and anybody trying to hold on to him may well simply be dragged down with him. Well, that's ridiculous. We can't fail. What have you found? Can you read it? I haven't heard of a Damic. Interesting, I, I see threads of Chaldaic in it. I had entirely different books under my childhood bed. My father was a polymath, my mother was a doctor, and I grew up very fast. I'm being literal. I aged very quickly. What? Most of it. You keep saying that word. Is that how you understand that story? That's probably not gone. 
I know some Chaldaic. I know how to operate a distance mirror. Which shall I do? Come on, Belmont. Time to choose. You're either the last son of a warrior dynasty or a lucky drunk. Which is it? I think we're going to see the size and disposition of the attacking force fairly quickly with our own eyes, Belmont. Are you asking my advice? None at all. Using this to find Dracula's castle. Now. We're trapped in a box down here. We will eventually be overwhelmed. Unless we change the nature of the battle. And there you are. <sighs> Take a look. Your intent? He moves the castle using an engine. That's what's acting against you. Where did you land the castle, Cypher? It seems damp enough out here as it is. No. But let's put an end to this anyway. Begin. Father. Your war is over. It ends. In the name of my mother. I told you before, I won't let you do it. I grieve with you. But I won't let you commit genocide. I was alone before. You want me to. You didn't kill me before. You're not going to kill me now. You want this to end as much as I do. You died when my mother died. You know you did. This entire catastrophe has been nothing but history's longest suicide note. Father. We did. I... killed my father. He died a long time ago. We really messed up the old house, didn't we? I had a plan, you know. I was going back to Grigit. Return to my vault. Go back to sleep. If I leave the castle here, all his work is inside it. His libraries, his materials, his knowledge. What happens to all that if the structure is abandoned? I can't just leave it here. Be nothing but a grave to be robbed. So, let it be my grave. No, you kind of did. Oh yes, I'm listening. You're giving me your home. You too. Don't let that idiot get you into too much trouble. Just enough. Is this how the castle felt to you? Before my mother first arrived at your door, 